Hi. So this is my Hammond L100 organ. It's actually, to be exact, it's a Hammond L11, which I guess refers to the wood, which is rather beaten up on this one. I got it about a year ago at a thrift store for $3. The manager was mad um, when I came in to get it because they're not supposed to accept these things as donations. But um, somebody accepted it that day and I took it. It's very heavy, so as you can see, it lives in my garage. Um, I have plenty of other instruments inside the house, though, so I'm okay. One thing you should know is that I am not a trained keyboard player at all. I'm completely self-taught on keyboard instruments, and I feel that I can't justify ever owning, I don't have the budget for it anyway, but owning a console. Um, so having a spin it like this is a, kind of a nice option because I, it was only $3. Nobody really wants them except for weird people like me. And it has a lot of interesting, cool qualities to it, especially with these modifications. So the modifications I did um, are the vibrato chorus modification, and I also added the Zener overdrive uh, to it. So these are things that were made up by somebody named Cone Zissis, um, and I found them kind of alluded to in all these message groups from those message group internet days, and I couldn't find them. I couldn't find the information, but I finally found it in the web archive. It looks kind of like this, um, so I printed them all out, and it has all the instructions, and there's a lot of stuff you can do. I did sort of simple versions of all of it. So the vibrato chorus modification uh, just has an extra capacitor in it, and then you move a wire from one place to another, and then you take a resistor out, and that's it. It's pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, and then the overdrive is also, there's a small capacitor that you add in, and a couple of Zanar uh, diodes that you wire into it, um, and a potentiometer for both of those as well, so you can control the levels. So I'm just going to show how this thing sounds. Um, one thing about the vibrato chorus, the, that capacitor you put in, it's supposed to take out the thump, and it does, except when I first turn it on, it still thumps. Um, but I can't complain, it's pretty good. So here's the organ without any modifications, so there's no vibrato chorus on, no vibrato, it's just this is how it's supposed to sound, I guess. As soon as you add in the vibrato chorus, the sound is louder and brighter. So here it is with it off, and here it is with it on. It just bumps it up a little bit. And that's nice. And then um, if you add the vibrato, you can mix how much straight signal and vibrato you have. So I have it kind of in a happy medium right now, I think. So here I'll take it all the way down to zero. So it'll be mostly vibrato. Was I added in the overdrive, so I'll turn on the overdrive. I've got the switch down here, um, same settings on it. It does have a little bit of a volume drop, um, but I don't mind because it's plenty loud for what I do.